Hello, everyone. Uh, we are here at the Tegu Church, the main uh, building, and the, we have the spring flowers at the background. We have some newcomers. My name is Jason. I am Romy. I am Essence. Roger. Why is it you know? <laughs> okay. The title of the message today is God's Essence. The Essence. Right yeah. here. That's my, yeah. my name. It's essence. It's saying. Oh. The new creation. God's clearest essence is the light. And every life is renewed every day and every moment. Any living plants have new buds and sprouts coming out from the branch continually. In our own body, our cells are peeled off. And new cells come out from inside, and new blood is made in our bone marrows every day, and old blood is excreted continually. Mm -hmm. God did not finish his work with the old creation, but he is the God of new creation every day and every time, and he renews everything. All the creatures are renewed and recreated continually, but the mind and the thought of people are stiffened only. All the creatures are the same as when they first created, but the only thing that is corrupted is man's mind. Man's mind is always war. All the religion of the world are stiffened with doctrines, tradition, and organization. They try to put God, who should not become stiffened, into the framework of their own concepts. How can people put the running around ox into a small box? Mm -hmm. We cannot know everything about God, and even though we may know him to some extent, but it is just the tip of the iceberg. But uh, as much as we understand about God, it is the, our one capacity. Why, why do we have to believe in Jesus? Our one being is decided as, as much as we understand Jesus. Why did he say, uh, we eat my flesh, you eat, my you, you, you eat my flesh and drink my blood because just believing in him is not enough. We have to become one. Just believing in him is the not enough. We have to eat and digest, not just friends, but must become spouse, mm -hmm. spouse by marriage. The last relationship is spouse. It is the closest relationship. God wishes to recreate us and renew us in Christ, Christ. Christ by all means. Mm -hmm. People develop new technology continuously, continually, but not even a single cell they cannot make. Mm -hmm. Life is continually lived, flows have a fast metabolism, breathing and blood circulation, nutrition supply must be continued on. Should not stop even a short moment, a short moment, muscles and blood vessels will become stiffened and die. Jewish peoples are the most conservative, exclusive and stiffened people. Jesus could not survive in that society. Even God cannot survive there. Even God cannot survive there. God must be renewed every day, but how can he survive there? Today, Christianity became stiffened also. They con unconsciously kill other people and suffocate, suffocate other people. They put people into the law, traditions, rituals and regulations and make them suffocate. Even God cannot survive there. He will not suffocate and die there. All the religion of the world always return to the laws eventually and inevitably. In the Old Testament management, God cannot survive. Only in the New Testament management, God can survive. Because only in the new covenant he can communicate, mutually dwell together, and become one. That's why God started new covenant management 
God changed all of his management strategies of the whole universe into an entirely new one. The purpose and wish of God is to become one deeply and unify all mankind into one. But people took the fruit of good and evil and became slaves of Satan. They judge and condemn other people as with the good and evil criteria through their habits. Those people who cannot take part in God's new creation project. They always become divided and fight among themselves because of their stiffened physical constitution. As Jesus carried the cross, he started the new creation. He finished up the old creation with his cross mm -hmm. and started new creation with his resurrection and opened up the new heaven and new earth. The first thing that Jesus worked out was to destroy the walls and obstacles between Jews and Gentiles. Because of the exclusiveness of Jewish people, they did not treat Gentiles as human beings, but they treated them like beasts. Jesus destroyed this thick wall. The tomb of Jesus was the new tomb. He finished up the old tomb and made it as the delivery room of new mankind. He overcame the death and Satan that's why he was able to become a true and eternal Lord. Yes. Gospel of Jesus is very paradoxical. God called weak people and made the, made the strong people become shameful. Uh, he called the poor people <coughs> and made the rich people become uh, ashamed. Uh, he let crush fight, cru crucify. crucify the Christ, Christ go all the way down to the bottom of the hell, hell. to the spirit in in the pr prison mm -hmm. in order to spread the gospel mm. um, he saved even those impossible and hopeless people that's why all kind or mankind could become uni unite. united united together. united together the cross of jesus christ is the cru curse. curse but in fact it is the word, warehouse. it is warehouse filled with God's grace and blessings are hidden. Therefore, if our in intuition, intuition. intuition is not sensitive, we will not be able to understand it with just sh shallow knowledge. It is impossible to understand and digest. Therefore, Saint Paul made up his mind not to know anything else. He decided not to spread anything else. Those people who are seeking for the power, of, and power and miracles, it is the stumbling block for those who are sit, sitting for wisdom. It is the foolishness, but for us, we are saved. Cruc uh, Crucified, crucified Christ is God's wisdom and power. Jesus saved us with the life-giving spirit and let us go out to the world with the life-giving spirit also. We used to be leading our life with the death-giving spirit in Adam in the past. We could not world beca became fresh, but we word of Satan became fresh. We are spreading poison to other people unconsciously and killed them. We had no other choice. Cross of Jesus Christ is the detoxication medicine. The poison of Satan is filling up all the way down to the deepest being of ourselves, to the world of unconsciousness. But Jesus took up all these poison he recreated us and cleaned everything all the way to our bone marrow and the world of unconsciousness. Brothers, we are new creatures. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. Our relationship is... so beautiful and fragrant. We have to get rid of all the stiffened prejudices. 
stiffen things, pull us up, pull us down to the death. That's why Jesus said, if you don't become like children, you cannot enter into the kingdom of uh, God and kingdom of heaven. We can be included in that 144,000 people on the Mount Zion if we follow the little lamb wherever he leads us to. All the negative things in the world came from Satan. We have to get rid of them all. New covenant is our own experience, but old covenant has nothing to do with us my, ourselves. I became war prisoners mm -hmm. of Christ. I am not objectified witness. It is not other people's story. It's our story. Amen. <clears throat> one of American missionaries and Pastor Lee talked together at one time. That missionary asked Reverend Lee, what's the difference between your faith and my faith? Reverend Lee answered, the dimension of knowing Jesus may be different, he said. I got the doctorate degree in theology. I went to Africa as a missionary. I know everything about Jesus. What should I know more about Jesus? That American missionary was filled with the objectified knowledges. What kind of knowledges do I need more, he asked. That missionary did not know the difference between spiritual world, carnal world, and soulical world. He was completely a blind man toward life. These kind of blind people reproduce other blind people like themselves in a mass production pattern. Blind people leading blind people both fall into the swamp of darkness. Mm -hmm. Knowledge is that, that we learn from the books and from school and the uh, knowledge that we learn on the spot and under the living station are very different in dimension. The knowledge is that we, he learned from the books and vivid ex experience of grow, growing plants and vegetable in the fill, fill touch, touching the soul ourselves directly <laughs> are very, very <laughs> different. Uh, how can we direct and living knowledge that come directly out of the gene and object, objectified knowledges from the book can be a thing? Greek culture objectified everything. Christianity, Christianity was corrupt, corrupted, de de degenerated, objectified, doctrined, Doctrinated. And doctrinated and stiffened enormous because of the infer influence of Greek philosophy. So many people will say, Lord is living in me. How can Lord is living in themselves? Can he enter into us through doctrines? Can he enter into us through knowledges and religions? Jesus spent time together with his, he, his disciple. He received the persecution from Jewish people. He passed through all those processes. He died on the cross and got resurrected. He came into our whole being with his whole beings and all the processes and he must become deep rooted in us. Every time, step by step, he conquered ourselves. Because we also have to pass through those processes together, together. In such a way, Lord becomes deep rooted in ourselves. Members of Camp's Crusade for Christ just believe John chapter 1 verse 12, as it is saying, if you receive Jesus as your Savior, you will receive the right to become the children of God. If they put a chair in their mind and tell Jesus to come in and sit down like this, they believe that he will do that. But actually, they're blind people toward life. Their belief is too shallow, too much doctrinated. They don't know the fact that Jesus Christ with his whole being must come into our whole being. They don't know the fact that the whole life of Paul was swallowed by Jesus. That's why he confessed 
I'm not living, but Jesus is living in me. Therefore, he said, we grow up and recreate through the temperaments of Jesus who pass through so much discipline and we become full and perfect through his temperaments. Amen. When animals enter into the Holy of Holies, their bodies are an anatomized, anatomized. anatomized, burned up, and only blood enter there. Holy of Holies during Old Testament time is church today. We must burn up the dust that we got from the world, wash ourselves, and only the light must enter into, the, into church. Our relationship with other brothers and sisters in the church, we all met under new creation. We meet in new relationship. Understanding our parent is kind of shallow when we live together, but once they pass away, only then we get the enlightenment, the depth of life and love, only then we can digest them in most cases. How can we understand our parents' love before we bring up our own children? When children understand parents, they understand gradually, step by step. When they are one year old, it's different. When they are two years old, when they are three years old, it becomes different. It's not because of parents, but the depth of their perception gets deeper and deeper. As they pass through various processes, they understand their parents more and more. Therefore, it is not just knowledge, they're experiencing the accumulation of life. Mm -hmm. Like the same manner, we understand Jesus gradually, a little by little. Understanding the Lord in such a way is the internal life. Eternal uh, life. Eternal life. Um, we, we can, can say, suppose to God during Old Testament time, God was just like a tiger during, a new, during the New Testament time. He becomes like a little, a little lamb. If I say that um, God has, has changed, ch changed it, other people may say it's a blasphemy. blasphemy. Um, but it means God become easy to approach, eat and drink easy. And that's the excellent. Uh, and the excel of horror universe was changing. He he wants us we he wants us to push everything else aside. Aside. <laughs> Let's just think about living together. The beginning and the end of the Bible is, let's live together. Live together. <laughs> <laughs> when a woman gets married and have a baby, she feeds her baby with her milk. This is this the result of the maturity. When the life becomes mature and passes through the process of maturity, we can produce spiritual bill. We can be dis distribute make a major character to other people. The ministry of Old Testament is just like the male man deliver male man delivering letters without knowing the real content of the letter. The ministry of New Testament is started as we meet Christ who died and rose from the dead. Uh, we are recreated by his character and we distribute that recreated character to other people. Therefore, as much as we become mature, we can distribute to other people that much like. Our God is not God of all creation, but God of new creation and God of new heaven, new earth, and new people. Hallelujah. 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 So, uh, what do you think, uh, Romy? Uh, I'm, I'm very... Uh, inspired? Yes, inspired by the fact that we are new creation. Uh -huh. And just like our body, uh -huh. I'm sure uh, Jajin has a lot of knowledge on the physical... Yes, uh, physical yes, physical constitution. Physical. <laughs> yes, and yeah, because he's a pharmacist, he studied mm -hmm. medicines. I'm uh -huh. sure he knows a lot more than me. Uh -huh. But just like our physical body, our being is always uh, created as uh -huh. a new being. Uh -huh. 
Mm -hmm. So no matter like what I did yesterday or even, you know, anything that I did in the past has nothing to do with the new me now. Yes. So, Forget about yesterday. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So push your side. Yeah. This is the only world that it's possible because people in the world, they always judge people based on what they did in the past. Right. But when you are in this new world with us in the church, Everything is new. So there's no condemnation and there's no judgment. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. So, Book of Romans, chapter 8, it said uh, in Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. uh, there's no condemnation yes. because the principle of life mm -hmm. overcame mm -hmm. the principle of death. Yes. And, uh, Everything must be renewed. Mm -hmm. Only then we feel excited mm -hmm. and we can accommodate mm -hmm. in this uh, ongoing and mm -hmm. changing world. Yes. We have to renew mm -hmm. so that we can keep ourselves young. Yes, that's right. We should not become old. Mm -hmm. yes. Outside may be old, but yes. inside must be mm -hmm. Young every yes, day. Young at heart. Yes, yes young at heart mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. Our God is not mm -hmm. God of old creation, yes. but God of new creation. Amen. Mm -hmm. So this message really make me excited today. Yes, Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. 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 What, what about you? Oh, me? Okay. Yes. Actually, so suddenly, mm -hmm. this situation is so suddenly. Sudden attack? Yeah. Yes. Uh, maybe a little bit <laughs> similar because I just working around this area yes. with Jajin and, mm -hmm. and another friend. Yes. So, but I come to the here, mm -hmm. so Jason is uh, oh. welcome to my oh. this area. Oh, okay. I just enjoy here mm -hmm. and then I didn't prepare the testimony in, uh -huh. through this message, yes. but I just a little bit it touched uh -huh. my mind uh -huh. because Jesus Christ is uh -huh. the over a testament, right? Uh -huh. Over what, what Old Testament. Old Testament uh -huh. is the so uh -huh. tiger. Uh -huh. It's tiger. like a tiger, you know. <laughs> If uh, I feel mm. if, if I have uh, some little bit, little bit problem, uh -huh. so you are wrong, yes. you are wrong. Uh -huh. But New Testament, New uh -huh. Testament, uh -huh. ages uh -huh. this so is uh, Jesus Christ is is closed closed uh -huh. my relationship uh -huh. with, between me and Jesus Christ uh -huh. and God. Uh -huh. And so today, uh -huh. so you it feel is very comfortable. Yeah, very com comfortable. Okay. Even, okay. Peaceful. Even, even even the first time the uh -huh. taking video, you yes. know, I never uh -huh. fear. Just uh, ah. because with you, my my colleague, mm -hmm. my friends. Mm -hmm. So actually, even uh, if I have a, a chance to mm -hmm. come here, mm -hmm. so please, please call me. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. okay. Yes. Yes. Um, Actually, um, mm -hmm. as I said to you, mm -hmm. recently I reading a book. Yes, yes. The Art of Loving. Mm, art of Loving. <laughs> Not Art of Loving? Art of Loving. Yeah. Art of a little loving. bit. Uh, first time he, uh, I, I said to her and mm. she said, oh, it's very not good book. And so why, why not good book? Why not good book? Art it's of good Loving. Book. Art of Loving. Because I didn't, I don't know. Why, why, why? So, I, I said, Oh, you think erotic yes, books? Yes. <laughs> I said to her, I used to it. It's possible. It's possible. Yeah, it's possible. No, the book is a very famous. <laughs> Eric Forum, don't you know? <laughs> and um, and it's a funny thing that uh -huh. um, he talks about the uh, religion, mm -hmm. the love of God and mm -hmm. love of uh, lovers. I mean, mm -hmm. erotic love. He said, mm -hmm. and then also the love of parents mm -hmm. and. Many things he talks about, you mm. know, the love, mm. and then it, he said that mm. the the problem is we don't want to be alone. Mm. Uh, mm. We want to be, you know, united. Mm -hmm. We want to be one. Mm -hmm. So that's why when it's a loneliness, mm -hmm. avoid avoiding the loneliness, mm -hmm. we try to find, you know, something mm. in our life, mm -hmm. continuously. Mm. Uh, but I don't know actually, in other, outside of the world, mm -hmm. it's not easy to find, mm -hmm. feeling oneness. Mm. Uh, but I think that in here, in the church, mm -hmm. 
we we are talking about mm -hmm. the one mm -hmm. with uh, the Christ yes. and with uh, our brother and sister. Mm -hmm. And it's a, but it's not the concept. Mm -hmm. He he also talks about the concept. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a God the love of God. Mm -hmm. They think that it's a it's a it, they believe in God and they think that the existing of existing God they mm -hmm. believe in existing God. Mm -hmm. But the problem is it's just in their in their thought. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. It's not real. Mm -hmm. But the, the church, only we come to the church, mm -hmm. we can see the real one. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we cannot feel, it's a just our concept, mm -hmm. we are just our thought that mm -hmm. we are one with, uh, with the God. Mm -hmm. But in the church, mm -hmm. with the brother and sister, we feel mm -hmm. real one. Mm -hmm. It's not our from our thought. Mm -hmm. It's a real, mm -hmm. I can say, the life. Mm -hmm. oh, so mm -hmm. it's not uh, from our concept. Mm -hmm. So that's why real food mm -hmm. we can eat mm -hmm. in the church. Yep. That's, that's why I think that the church is so precious mm -hmm. because it's not from our concept. Mm -hmm. It's not from our thought. Mm -hmm. It's from the Beyond. real, yeah, mm -hmm. real mm -hmm. reality. Reality. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. a reality. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, so that's why mm -hmm. I'm very happy mm -hmm. to feel in oneness uh -huh. with brother and sister. Okay. Yeah. okay. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>